This is the grade 8 math practice test for TN Ready. Question number 26, at least now it is. A cell phone company charges $20 for a customer to open a new account and $35 for each month of phone service. Write a linear function, and that's the key here. Linear, which means it'll make a line. To represent the total cost, Y, a new customer would pay for X months of service. Enter your answer in the space provided. Now, generally speaking, anytime I see the linear function, I think, oh, slope intercept form. And I'm going to, oh, slope intercept form here too. Y equals MX plus B. This is slope intercept form of an equation because it has a slope in it and it has a known intercept. Another word for slope might be like change, like the part that represents change, like each the amount changes because of this. It's driven by the variable. And the intercept may be like a starting point. Or in this case, an upfront fee. Now, I just need to find out what parts are there. The cell phone company has $20 to open a new account. There isn't some sort of, you open your account one time. The linear equation here is for a new customer to pay for X months of service, but they only have one account, so you only pay that $20 one time. So if I'm gonna use my Y equals MX plus B scenario, that constant one time thing is right here. So I'm going to rewrite this. Y and X change in relation to the slope and the intercept, so I don't need to worry about them. I can just write them. So it's plus 20 bucks. Now the part that represents change, which is to say how much does it change each time there's uh, a new increment, in this case would be per month, because they ask about X months of service, so X is so six months. So I would have to change it by $35 every time I add a new month. If you see for each or you see per, that's probably going to be your slope. So 35. So I can find out that in the first month, the customer will pay um, 35 times 1 plus 20. That would be 55. In the second month, they do 35 times 2. So total uh, for two full months of service, that would be $70 plus 20 more, which is $90. For three months, say 35 times 3 plus 20 and get that whole thing. So that is my engine that drives how much I would need to pay to find out how much or, uh, to find out how much I would owe for a certain number of months. It gives me a fee for like, if I want six months of service, I need to pay this much. So I do six times 35 plus 20. That is my linear function. Anytime you see linear functions set up like this, just start here. Even if you end up going into standard form or something else, just having it written down is a good starting point if you get kind of lost. Or anytime you see there's a constant thing that only happens once and then there's a per something charge, or this happens each time this happens, it's probably going to be in this form. So it's just write the formula down or the form down and then substitute in the values. It'll make your life so much easier. When you move on into the next level up in math, you'll do the same exact thing. So it's good to have that skill set built in anytime you see linear function, even if you don't use it. Write down slope intercept form somewhere on your paper. That way, if you need to frame your thinking, you can always go back to it.